Hello, I'm Victor. Let's study information society. This is a term we usually encounter when we talk about information technology. This presentation will discuss what really is information society. Let us define first the two words individually. When we say information, it is an assemblage of data in a comprehensible form capable of communication and use. The essence of it is that the meaning has been attached to the raw facts. Society, on the other hand, is a community of people living in a particular country or region, associated to one another and having shared customs, laws, and organizations. When these two words are put together, the term would mean a society in which information, rather than material goods, has become the chief economic, social, and cultural driving force. It is a society where the creation, distribution, use, integration, and manipulation of information is a significant economic, political, and cultural activity. In addition, its aim is to gain competitive advantage through using IT in a creative and productive way. The concept was originally born in Japan in the 1960s and then spread around the world. Economist Fritz Macklop was one of the first few people who developed this concept. Some people call this a post-industrial society because industrial society has been affected. According to Ashley Crossman in her article entitled, What is an Industrial Society? at www.thoughtco.com, an industrial society is one in which technologies of mass production are used to make vast amounts of goods in factories and in which this is the dominant mode of production and organizer of social life. Now let's compare industrial society to information society. The most important part of industrial society is the engine or machine, while computer for information society. For basic function, industrial society is physical labor and information society is mental labor. In terms of productive power, that's material, and information, respectively. Industrial society produces useful goods and services, while information technology is produced in information society. The production center in industrial society is in the facilities with equipment, while information utilities with networks for information society. Furthermore, according to Nick Moore, information societies have three main characteristics. First, Information is used as an economic resource. Organizations use information to increase efficiency, to stimulate innovation, and to increase effectiveness and competitive position. Secondly, there is a greater use of information among the general public. Information allows them to make choices between different products, use public services, be informed of their civil rights and responsibilities, and allow distance learning. The third characteristic of information societies is the development of information sector within the economy. The information sector's function is to satisfy the general demand for information facilities and services. A significant part of the sector is concerned with the technological infrastructure, like the networks of telecommunications and computers. How is information really created? Let's take a look at the information cycle. It starts with the creators, like writers, musicians, artists, researchers, database producers, and web producers. The output is information products, such as books, videos, magazines, and websites. The output is distributed by publishers, internet providers, vendors, producers, etc. It may be disseminated in schools, libraries, colleges, and universities, businesses, government, or museums, which are then used by individuals, students, business persons, researchers, employees, and employers. Here's a specific example of an information cycle. A web developer created a website intended to be accessed online by students at a school. The growth of telecommunication, computers, and other ICTs skilled professionals, and the shift in occupational structure that promotes equal opportunities are some of the examples of indicators of information society. In addition, the creation, acquisition, 
management, and delivery of information become a critical asset. Furthermore, there is an increased use of information by citizens for involvement in public policy making and social life. Some technologies used by the information society are phone, broadcasting media, computer, World Wide Web, intranet and internet, telecommunication, and satellite. With a growing number of information societies, some concerned groups believe there should be a regulation. Proposed regulations include implementation of guidelines in freedom of information and other related laws like copyright and intellectual property rights. In this day and age, the internet or the computer networks have made the world a family or connected. ICTs helped in making people's lives more convenient but still productive. A lot of changes are already seen in our daily lives. For schools, less use of physical books and physical literary resources. For consumers, no need for physical meetup with the buyer or the seller for business activities. For organizations, predictions are made without making any huge effort. Thus, it appears that mental power is equally important if not more important than the physical power. I hope this presentation has helped you in understanding the information society. Here are the references. Thank you for watching.